hello everyone and happy Monday yes look who I am about to feed today this is Denali Kennedy and she is the Kennedy sculpt by Rachel Farrell yeah she is my partial silicone baby girl which means that her head and limbs are silicone and her body is cloth yes so today she's going to have her first uh, bottle feeding maybe it's better if I sort of turn her this way <laughs> and I also wanted everyone to see her movement too actually there's two persons in the community that is expecting the Kennedy congratulations to those persons you will love your Kennedy yes this big girl since the last time you had seen her she had her air pest so she is wearing her earring <laughs> as you can see she has her earring on all right so um let me just rest her right here for a minute. Yeah, she'll be okay. And guys, let me tell you, um, I've really been enjoying her. Yes, it's been a little bit scary having uh, the silicone baby because the first thing that comes to mind is, is my hands clean? Because for some reason, like, the silicone really feels like skin, plus she's soft. See, she is soft. So, I just want to make sure I always wash my hands before I do anything to her. You had seen that I just made this fresh bottle of milk for Denali. And now I'm going to, um... Okay, this is the KY Jelly. And we put this on the nipple just so that the nipple slides into the baby's mouth easily oh, oh my goodness what am I doing practice makes perfect guys I'll get it I'll get it together so just a little bit of this and um, thought I brought a cloth here I'm pretty sure I did yeah I did so I just want to rub this on the nipple and this is one of those no hole nipples uh, I guess I'll wipe this right here okay guys I'm new to this I am new to this so you have to excuse me if I'm fumbling a bit okay come here sweet girl she's a big girl you know let me tell you and her head oh feels so real I'm always very conscious that I don't get my nails into her head <laughs> and I'm also very conscious of the, the clothing that I'm wearing because I don't want to uh, I don't want my clothes to bleed on her <laughs> oh my goodness just look at her <laughs> Oh my she is hungry so this is our very first bottle feeding guys yes <laughs> oh my goodness isn't she just a sweetie you know and her mouth is sculpted to be open a little I've not put my fingers in her mouth or finger should I say in her mouth because like I said I'm a little bit afraid to uh, but she looks like her mouth is not open very very wide no it's not very very wide but of course she can take a full nipple and then uh, I had tried her with the pacifier the pacifier that I tried that uh, it looks like more of a preemie size the pacifiers that I purchased for her the only ones I found for her was 6 to 18 months I think so the nipple is a little bit bigger I haven't tried those as yet but I will So I 
I have one of the pacifiers here that I do want to try. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. And she is a very good eater. Yeah, so I decided to pass her air. And it was just like passing a real air. Yeah. And I added the backing at the back of the air because she has space at the back of the air for the backing of the airing. <laughs> Good news, the items that I was expecting to be delivered to the export company in the US, you know, the appliances that I had purchased for my mom, those were delivered on Friday, so that's excellent. I'm just waiting on proof of delivery. They had sent me proof of delivery, but all the items were not listed on that. Uh, on that document that they had emailed to me so I had requested them to send the complete listing yes because I need that for the export company when I email them to confirm that they've received it I also at the same time I want to submit that document that shows not but I'm guessing they probably had more than one paper signed I don't know but I want to be able to submit all the documents that shows that the items was delivered because it's the company insists that all items were delivered so I'm just waiting on that so I can email the export company and so that they can ship it to Grand Bahama or ship the items to Grand Bahama that is all right look at that she's she's done she's finished yeah, she's not a big girl for nothing, I can tell you that. She, She's a good eater and that was fast. Okay, come here, let me burp you. Yes. Let's burp you and... Um, <laughs> oh, very good. She burped already, that was quick. Yes. So I'm just loving her guys. I'm really enjoying her. Looking into her mouth, she has a tongue. Beautiful, beautifully painted on the inside. Yes. I don't do very much with her hair, you know, because I don't want her to lose any hair. I like to be careful. But you know what? Um, I just want to show like the moms who was expecting. You know because she feels so real whenever I hold her and I press my hand I'm always very cautious of my nails because when I place my hand in the back of her head you know I can feel it feels like skin it, you know it, it feels soft you know like it's an actual baby head so I'm very very cautious not to like stick my nails into her head or to stick my nail like in her limbs yeah because it feels so real it's, it's truly a different feeling very very different all right guys so i'm going to um she ate already i'm gonna go and take her to i'm gonna dress her in something simple just a onesie and uh and we'll be right back yeah <laughs> I'm to, I, you know i'm laughing because I just want to be cautious and holding her you know especially seeing that I'm wearing this dark jean just want to make sure that nothing bleeds on her of course this blouse and jeans have been washed numerous times so I shouldn't have to worry about any bleeding but we'll be right back yes I'm gonna go ahead and dress her and we will be right back Okay, so we're gonna go and dress this big girl into something um, simple. Yes. Into something simple. Yeah, she loves to sleep. She reminds me of my 13 year old well, 12 year old. She's not 13 as yet. Almost. <laughs> oh, 
all right so what am i going to dress okay i'm gonna dress her in like i said into something simple you know i was supposed to put a you know what maybe i won't do the head but uh her little drawer is right in here in this room now when guest comes over i will have to take everything out of this room and put into the other room all right let me see okay so i was thinking about dressing her in this simple onesie by cardis it's green has white polka dots and it says adorable little one the word adorable is written in white letters little one is written in looks like navy and a little heart that's purple yes and it's also long sleeve yes it's by cardis and a three month size she's going to wear that i was thinking of having her wear these green and gray striped socks i think she's gonna wear that and then i'm just gonna put this little uh white little clip in her hair instead of the headband because i think i left the headband in my bedroom actually and then i'm gonna try her with this pacifier because this pacifier is a six to 18 months i want to see if it fits in her mouth okay so I hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, did I want to change your pampas? You know what? I'll probably just leave it. And um, I'll just leave it and freshen it up. That's what I'll do. Yes. All right. So I hope you moms enjoyed the feeding video. The, you moms who is expecting your Kennedy. I know what it's like when you're expecting a baby and it's normal you know you want to watch every video there is any moms that have that particular scalp you want to watch their videos because you want to learn more about the baby that you're expecting so that is normal and I find too with the silicone you know you want to be more careful not that you want to be more careful you just naturally more careful because the feel the first thing you think about, like for myself, first thing I think about is the clothing I'm wearing. Because when I handle her, I don't want anything to bleed on her. The second thing I think about is my hair. Because I actually have a rinse in my hair. And so I try to um, make sure that my hands are clean before I handle her. Because sometimes you tend to run your hand in your hair not even thinking. It's a normal reaction, you know, during the day. So before I touch her, I like to make sure that my hand is clean. That I don't have anything in my nails and stuff like that. Plus, like I said, um, in handling her, I try not to, like, pass a silicone with my nail. Yeah. Because she really feels like a real baby when I'm holding her up like I showed you guys when I hold her up and my hand is behind her head supporting her head her head it uh, you know her, her head is it's not unreasonably soft but it's soft you can feel the difference between the silicone head and the vinyl doll head so you know I want to be careful not to pairs my nail into the silicone yeah but she's a big girl let me tell you guys she is a big girl she is i can see she's a comfortable three men, three months in some things as well as i can see that she can wear some six months in other things depending on what it is like onesies definitely three months because onesies run big yeah but the socks, uh, see this socks, this is a newborn size socks. She could have worn the larger size to this socks because, see this is the newborn socks. And her heel, her, like her feet is a bit longer so she could have worn the size up. But that's how you learn about your babies actually. 
Yeah, see? Looking out of, out of feet. You can see that, um, see her, her heel is all the way up here. So she could have worn a larger size in this socks. Yeah. All right, I probably won't let her keep that socks on because I don't want anything too tight or that's gonna be rubbing on her. But I'll keep it on just for pictures for now. And also, I find too that the mittens, like the mittens tend to run like a little bit small and a bit tight, like around the wrist area. Yeah. So I wish that the mittens came in different sizes or maybe I'll have to have something uh, made special for her. I should be able to have something made for her. And again, it's a little bit more awkward when you're dressing the silicone babies. <laughs> because you just want to be so careful, you know. That's why. So guys, my daughter have not even seen hers yet. <laughs> no, she have not seen hers yet. I didn't say anything to her. I know one person that asked me what my daughter thinks of her. She had not seen hers yet. I need to roll up the sleeves first. Because the silicone is not like... The silicone is smooth, but it doesn't like slide on. The material doesn't slide on. Smooth on the silicone that it does on the vinyl. So therefore, that's why... When you're dressing the babies and you're putting on long sleeves, it takes a little bit more caution. Yeah. I knew this green would look lovely on her. I knew that. Just look at that. <laughs> All right, let me take the mittens off. And again, like I said, I noticed like it's a little bit snug around the wrist area and you know she has long arms I noticed that she have long arms so her three month sizes fit her pretty pretty good pretty fitted like the sleeves yeah the other night it was very cold a few days ago two days ago it was very cold, so I decided to dress her in a sleeper, an all-in-one sleeper, and the sleeve was a little bit shorter than this on her, and it was a Carter sleeper. So I said to myself, oh my goodness, like she have long arms, which is great. Just look at her. <laughs> All right, so let me see what I'm going to do with her hair. I'm going to put that little white bow in her hair. I have some spray here. Like I said, I don't handle her hair very much. And this is just water, plain water. The artist did give me some conditioner for her, but I, I, I'm not ready to use the conditioners yet and our hair is like like a wavy kind of curl I really don't need to do nothing much to it I'll tell you that it keeps its style it does yeah, it, it keeps its style she is beautiful let me tell you guys she is definitely worth the wait I waited almost a year for her. She is definitely worth the wait. Okay, so I wanted to try this little um, clip in her hair. <laughs> yes, and I want to try her pacifier. So again, this is a three-month size onesie. 
definitely she takes a three month size. Because I know I have those moms that is, is ex also expecting the Kennedy and they want me to share any new information that I learn about her and I'm always willing to share. So she is definitely a three month size and onesie definitely and I would tell you go you know the socks that I had okay these socks I did dress her in these socks and these are 3 to 12 months and these are actually Julia's socks my Jules which is my Elliot my big girl and this fit her pretty good so and my I bought a few pairs of socks for her and everything I bought is in that um, move on size but from this day on, all new pair of socks that I buy for her is going to be in the larger size. Yeah, you don't want anything pinching on the silicone. So, therefore, the 3 to 12 months fit her pretty good. This is Cardis. Yeah, so I would say go with that. Okay, now I'm going to try this pacifier on her. I don't remember the name of it. But, uh... Let me go ahead and um, try it. I just want to know if this size nipple fits in her mouth pretty good. And again, this is a 6 to 18 months. Oh wow, it slides right in. Look at that. It fits pretty good actually. Yeah. Well, I was afraid that um, because looking at, at her in her mouth, her mouth doesn't look very, very wide. Come here. Give me a sucky. Give me a sucky. Yeah. But it's pretty wide, I guess. Now, I had not put my finger in there. Yeah. So I think it's safe to say all size pacifiers will fit. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it for my big girl, Denali Kennedy. And again, she is the Kennedy Sculpt by Rachel Farrell. And you can find her on Facebook. And she is on Facebook under Rachel Lee Farrell Shells. Yes. All right, everyone. So that is it for my big girl. And um, she's still knocked out. Yeah, let me just, um, just so that those moms can see her and see, let me tell you, this artist, she roots beautifully. And this hair is amazing. Just look at it. There's really nothing much you need to do to it. I'm telling you. Really nothing much. So that's it, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. And you have a super great day. Bye-bye.